fans, Cowboy Nation. You know what this is, Cowboy Legends for Life. Excuse me. Coming back at you again with another video. And I hope that you liked the last one. Listen. Didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all. I mean, weeks and weeks ago, before all this hollabaloo started to burst open. I told y'all this was a sham. I told y'all they were attacking Dak Prescott. Remember that. Y'all do remember that, right? Now, you see, everybody's now debating about it. They've been debating about not just only um, Carson Wentz contract. They're debating about um, Jimmy Garofalo now. Now, I heard that Jimmy Garofalo just, put, just uh, threw five straight in, um, interceptions in practice. He ain't played the last time, the, 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 um, the first preseason game they had against us. He didn't play. Now, you know, I'm not... I'm not, I, don't, I don't hate Jimmy Garofalo. I don't have anything against him. <clears throat> he may be talented. I think maybe he has, he has, some, he has some core good values about him. Okay? <clears throat> but you know what? He did not deserve, after seven games in his career, $130 million. And then to turn around and then give someone else maybe $144 million in incentives and $107.9 million in guaranteed contract. And then state to you that, you know, he's better than all those other young quarterbacks that come out of the league, which is bullshit. They can try to clean this up all they want. And they say that's what they've been doing all along. I told you this was going to be a controversy. Didn't I not tell you that? This was going to become a controversy. How do you, how do you not pay a guy who's been better than all quarterbacks? I'm not saying he's top ten. I'm not even seeing his top 10. He's within that realm. But his stats say top five. Do you understand what I'm just telling you? That Prescott's not a top 10 quarterback. Maybe he's top, let's say top 15, top 12. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to accept that. I am. But his stats say top five since he's been in the league. That's period. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to make a video with everything Dak Prescott's records, not just his, his stats now as he played, but his records that he broke in the NFL and in, in the uh, Cowboys um, nation that he broke and held hold tight and hold um, and, and uh, bro broke like bro broke or, or wreck or tied. I'm sorry, but I'm just, I get excited and stuff. And this is frustrating. It's actually frustrating to hear. People sit there and say, Daniel Jones, I told you Daniel Jones is going to be better than Dak Prescott. You're fucking crazy. Man, bad thought I'll be respected, but you're insane. Okay? To sit there and say something like that, that Daniel, Daniel Jones is, going to be, is better than Dak Prescott. After one preseason, five completions. Dak had four. But everybody said, well, you know, that last one, he caught him so. Well, uh, four is four. I don't care. Okay, I'll tell you what, do your favor. I'll do you your favor. Make it three and one. Three, four, three out of four. Eh? Who cares? Try to beat him on the damn field in the regular season and see what happens. Now, now we already own you guys four straight times. We've beaten you four straight times. Dak has been has been castrating y'all four straight times. He beat the Eagles three straight times. Matthew Stafford never beat him. Okay? Uh, Kirk Cousins never beat him. Okay? He's one the one against um, Matty Ice. And that game that he lost to Matty Ice the first time, if it wasn't for Uncle Goodell for the Eagles, Eagles Uncle Goodell, it would have never happened because Zeke was gone. That was the first game. And then we had Chaz Green to block him on the goddamn blind side. But I'm not going to go there. I'm regressing. I try, I'm regressing. I know that. But here's the thing. Dak Prescott is a solid quarterback. Dak Prescott is one of the best quarterbacks ever. A young quarterback came out of the fucking league since the, the, the college time. He's been he's one of the best quarterbacks there. His stats say top five. What he's done is top five. And the records he holds says he's top five. And that's why I'm going to leave it right there. Ain't shit y'all can do about it. And I'm going to have to lie about it because the stats are right there. The, the words and the stats speak for themselves. They say he's been accurate. Okay, you can say he wasn't accurate, right? But why is it that he has a record, NFL record for the three straight, uh, the, a third-year quarterback with the highest completion record of all time? <laughs> Does that sound like he's somebody who's accurate, inaccurate to you? Stupid ass. 
I'm gonna tell you something. This contract thing, I knew, I told y'all, it was going to blow up in everybody's fucking face. And you know, you got, they, they trumped out all the, the little black commentators and all the motherfucking little black writers, and they're trying to justify Jack Prepper. No, I wouldn't give him 30 million. You could do only one. Dax doing the right thing. I'm holding out. Ain't no fucking way you're going to give me less than the guy I keep ass, I keep beating. Whose who, who's stats don't match mine. Whose yards per average and goddamn passing yards is lower than mine. Whose to total touchdowns in terms of fucking yard in terms of passing and, and running it in, taking care of the ball, is far higher than his. Don't embarrass yourself. He's got 84 or 85 and the fucking uh, goddamn race got 72. How is it, fuck, how's a guy supposed to be better than Dak Prescott who has, who's played in eight games less than Prescott and still got less, who still got more losses? Still got more losses and less wins. More losses and less wins. How, forget about the wins. Tell me about the losses. Forget about the wins. When you play eight games less, you expect to be, have less losses. Okay? But you don't know, expect to have less wins. But you don't expect to have less losses. When you play eight games less, he's got he got more losses. You understand? Let me put it to you this way. The eight games less that Carson must have played that rather than Dak Prescott, right? Let's say for instance that he played them all. Okay, Carson was played them all. And he won them all. All eight of them. He would still have a he would still have a less record. Dak would still have a better record than he would. He would still have a better record than Carson wins. 32 and 31, 16 losses to 17 losses. Dak would still have a better record. Unbelievable. Pro football folks are going to suffer for this. All those bastards are going to suffer for this. Those 32 goddamn Republican conservative owners of the NFL can kiss my ass. They're going to suffer what they did. I'm not even going to blame Goodell. It's not even his fault. I'm not gonna touch it on this one. It's the fucking owners. Okay? Including my, co my, my, my own owner of the team I love, Jerry Jones. He's an asshole too. You know I don't like him. I'm just, I'm just fed up. Okay, I'm just fed up. But let me tell y'all something. Let me, let me tell you. Dak's gonna get his money. He's gonna get more than Carson Wentz because he deserves it. And, and Zeke gonna get his money, and so is Amari. Y'all can tell all the shit you want. Make all your jokes, but you're fucked when the season comes around. It's over. You're fucked when the season comes around. It's over. Cowboys are, are gonna end it all. The road to fucking Super Bowl leads to the Dallas. As always, back in the day of the 70s and the 80s. And now the 90s. Now the current time all hail to the Dallas Cowboys and shit you can do about it goodbye